Hello everybody, my name is Chris and welcome to another VR tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about V-Ridge and Open Track and Free Track and how we can all make that all work together so we can have full room scale VR in Steam VR games. So before we get started with that, I just want to put this disclaimer right now, I'm not doing this myself. I don't have the funds right now and I just, I just can't figure out, or I can't do this for my own setup. So I'm not going to be able to use Open Track or free track, free track on my thing so I'm stuck with sitting VR, but no room scale, sad me. But it will work with Ripcat here. I've had a couple questions about that. Open track will work with Ripcat. If you go up here to the settings, come to settings, you're going to want to go to the V-Ridge tab up here and click tracking options. From there, you're going to want to click tracking source instead of phone sensors only or phone or orientation free track position or free track orientation and position. One of those you're going to have to pick, and I'm pretty sure it's the free track orientation and position. Um, what that does is the, uh, I'm trying to think of how it says it. The free track orientation and position, wherever you use free track um, like that, it takes what you're looking up, down, left, right, uses free track for that and where you're moving around. Or you can use phone orientation and free track position where you look up, down, left, right, your phone picks it up and the free track just picks up where you're standing. Doesn't really matter for me, again, it's whatever you guys need and I can't use it my myself. So moving on from there, we have free open track right here. You're going to want to download it off of here on GitHub and then after you get that, actually, Something we need to talk about real quick is what you're going to need for this to run. I can talk all about how to set the software, but if you guys don't have the hardware, you can't do this yourself. So we're going to come up here, here to eBay, the great eBay area. And what we need is an infra is IR lights for a head tracking thing. This is pretty much just the one everyone uses. And then a PSI camera, or some people even use a Kinect camera actually, for infrared tracking. For the PlayStation Eye camera, you have to remove the infrared filter, which means you have to mangle your P your PS3 camera, which I don't want to do. So I'm just gonna, if I ever do if I ever end up doing this, I'm buying it off of eBay, and then the infrared lights you can just use it. You just buy the infrared lights and you use it like that. It has to be in this. As far as I know, it has to be in this correct positions. I'm not sure exactly why, but I'm pretty sure that's just how it's supposed to go because everyone uses it like that. Um, as far as I know, for the Connect, you can use the Connect if you have a um, Connect to USB converter thingamabobber. And then you cover up the infrared emitter on the on the um, connect itself because that's all it is is a giant infrared camera. Um, now for prices, we have this just the LEDs right here for thirty dollars. We have just the camera here for twenty seven dollars, which you can do this yourself and get a camera for like six bucks on Amazon. And if you're feeling brave, you can do it off of that. But I'm not brave enough to use mine and mangle mine because I still have to use it for my PlayStation. And then you have the open track, free track camera, and the IR thing for about forty five dollars right here. And it's really important that you check the price. $45 here, and then if you come down here, it's $490 there for the exact same thing. Do not get that one. Like, just don't spend $490 on that. That's just, that's insane, guys. That is just insane. Okay, so now that all that's out of the way, we can go to the quick start guide here. And with the quick start guide, I'm not going to be showing you guys everything that you have to do to set this up because I can't do it myself, and it's not going to... If I do it, it's not going to be as accurate or, if anything, if I actually had the stuff here, so I don't want to mislead you guys with any of that. So there's this video right here. You can go for quick start. Um, all these different stuff that you get to, get to calibrate. You have to make sure that the camera's going through there. You have to make sure that the infrared lights are coming on, and you have to make sure that it can actually track those. So what you're going to want to do is... First, I believe you have to calibrate it to make sure that it picks up the little flashy, li the little infrared lights, and then you get to move on to different things like how it outputs, what it outputs as, what you use it for, and stuff like that. Um, what you want to output it for V-Ridge is definitely Free Track 2.0 Enhanced right here, because if you don't do anything else, then it's just going to emulate as, say, the mouse or the joystick emulation for V-Joy. But you really want Free Track 2.0 so that you can actually use it with V-Ridge because that's actually what it reads. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything when it comes to this stuff. Then it's all just individual calibrations for each of y'all's areas that you're going to use for this. Um, free track, open track, what's the difference? Really nothing. Free track's an older one that's not updated anymore. And open track is just a takeover of that. Just continue on the project. Make sure all that stuff is worked up and makes it working with current updates and stuff like that. Uh, I can't remember if I explained that. just wanted to explain that just to be safe. But with that being said, I love you all. Click that subscribe button and I will see you guys later. Peace out, guys.